Good morning from the somewhere, somewhere in France. From, um, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce this, Mount France. I have no idea where we are. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Mommy said sticks in there. Will you come look at the waterfall with me? Um, yeah, in a second. In a second? Yeah. Beautiful. It's way too cold. Like as soon as you step into the shade over there, the ground is covered in like frost. And uh, the whole hike to the waterfall is in the trees. Daddy, so I think it's too cold. His shoes are all wet. Oh. How about we call an audible and go into town and get some coffee? Yeah, coffee. That Let's sounds great. It. Okay. First we're gonna see if we have some the coffee. gear garage in this thing has been amazing for our double stroller, all our bags, and everything else. Oh, don't forget our bowl full of rocks and dirt and sticks. Yep, got it. Uh, here you go. I should probably yeah, let's not break it. <laughs> just leave that there. Here you go. We knew when we flew over here that we were going to RV from France to Barcelona and Spain, but there were a few countries we wanted to hit along the way. We want to stop in Monaco where you cannot actually take the motor home. We're going to have to find a way to get to the city without it. We want to take the motor home into the tiny country of Andorra that borders both Spain and France. But today we're going to cross another one off the list that was a bit of a question mark. We're going to go spend the night in Switzerland. Our toll roads turned off on Google Maps. As we learned the past couple days, this is really the best way to get into the French countryside or the Swiss countryside today. It just doesn't disappoint. You're in these tiny towns, these magnificent old churches and just meadows and fields with these cows and their cowbells and mountains and forests. Every road that we've driven down is a two-lane road, despite the way it looks. <laughs> They're so tiny. Fortunately, we fit on all of them. Not always when other cars are coming, but normally we fit. The reason we ended up on this tiny back road is that there's supposed to be a waterfall and 0.2 miles, but right now it's just like steep incline on both sides, crazy big green trees. This is gonna be our last stop before we cross the border, I think. It says you're here. They got the one parking spot. Yeah, it looks like there's a hike right there. Listen, Ellie got to see the waterfall, said it was beautiful. Now we're taking turns because Eli is still in the car napping. This is how you go on hikes and adventure, I guess, when you've got two kids with you. Today's gonna be the first time, excluding driving to Canada in the RV, that we've ever crossed the border to another country in a motorhome. Whenever we cross a border into Canada, we have to get out of the RV, they do a full search. Customs agent walked, walked us out and he's like, I just wanted to show you one thing about your RV. So I'm like, okay, what law are you breaking? They broke our door handle off. So hopefully it will not be that intrusive driving into Switzerland today. Over the years, if there's one thing that will consistently pull Alyssa and I off of our path and onto a detour, it's a waterfall. There's something about them. The rushing water, the mist, sometimes coming off and Wow! I'm coming around this corner and it's just, 
Wow, that is magnificent. Worth it, every time. This is why we decided to stop taking the toll roads and it has 100% been worth it. Also why Alyssa is an awesome co-navigator because she points out stuff like this that I had no idea about, would have no idea it ever existed and says, turn right here, there's a waterfall in a mile. RVing in France, pretty great. I think we've said that like 20 times. I'll quit saying that. Next stop, Switzerland. I mean, that looks like, like a border thing. We like literally left the waterfall one minute ago. I didn't realize we were right here. Which way do you need to go? Oh yeah, this way. Oh yeah, I don't know. No, no one's in there. Yeah. Just crossed into Switzerland. I like stopped at the crossing. Okay, but wait, everything literally just turned red. Everything's red. <laughs> I just crossed the border, I guess that's it. <laughs> Very anticlimactic. I was like stopping. I was like, do I need to stop and talk to somebody and have a conversation, show my passport? Just drive on in. Welcome to Switzerland. Canada, take notes. First impressions of Switzerland. Looks a lot like this town in France that we were just in one minute ago. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I flew my drone into Switzerland. I think you accident. literally just threw, flew the drone into Switzerland. I can't believe this. That was like so easy. What country number is this? Number 10 for me, I think. This is Ellie's sixth country, Eli's fifth country, and I don't know about me and you. It might be your 10th. I think it might be your 10th. Congratulations, 10 countries. Nice. 10 countries, 50 states. Two kids. I don't know. Lots of RVs. I was just trying to do more numbers. Gosh, I don't even want to count how many RVs we've had, probably 10. We just got our first glimpse of the mountains around this corner. Oh my gosh. They're massive. Please pull up. Oh my gosh, look at that view. Okay, let's eat lunch and enjoy this view and then go through the crazy road. Okay. Yeah, let's get our stomachs full before we go on a bunch of twisty curvy roads. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> update one mile into Switzerland 45 <laughs> minutes later <laughs> we have driven said mile this is the most windy road I've ever driven in my entire life I've got a row of cars behind me there's nowhere to pull off Switzerland's supposed to be a nice neutral place I'm sure they'll be happy <laughs> hey kids do I want to go get some cheese dip and maybe some chocolate dip yeah and I'll eat it says we're five minutes away from where we're gonna park. I think this has so far been like the easiest city ever to drive into. Right? Thanks for that jinx. No, I'm not jinxing it. We're five minutes away. We're so close. Open oh, right there. Turn right here. Um, wait, no, not this one. I think this is the street parking that they're talking about, maybe. We might only get like a driving tour of Geneva today. Like, oh, right up there is like where Park for Night wanted us to park. Should I just pull over here? Just pull over here and let's make a plan. Okay. Yeah, this is the first place we found a pullover. <sighs> okay, you wanna look at this with me? This literally is telling me that there's a campground right there. We're not here yet, baby. This is like where Park for Night took us, like this okay. side of the street. There's like a major train station like right up ahead. This is the UN. Down here is where we were gonna like go to get food. Okay, that looks even more downtown-ish. Yeah, like right now we're at least like not in like a crazy. Yeah. Looks like all the street parking basically says try to get here early because there's not much 
in Geneva. And we're here at about three o'clock. Yeah. So maybe if we stick around long enough, the night crowd will start, day crowd will leave and we'll catch a break. <laughs> Let's keep driving. Keep we'll going? Yeah, like we'll find a place to park somewhere around Geneva. And we'll maybe find a train station or something. So I put in the campground that's in Geneva as our destination. It's 20 minutes away with traffic and everything. I say let's keep our eyes peeled for street parking. And if we can find it, let's like take it, walk around, get fondue, explore the city. If not, let's go to the campground and use their bus and cool. Uh, Ooh. Very, very close. close to that cable car. Oh my gosh. Sometimes you're curious about whether or not you can park in a place, but then you see somebody else doing the thing that you want to do and you think that it's okay. <laughs> That's what we just did. We just saw another motorhome over here taking up a couple spots. Yeah, do this one. It's like two parking spots or room for us. Is this free parking? It says parking maximum three hours. I will not exceed three hours. Here's the deal. Free though. or paid. I feel like I paid for this with my anxiety. It's going to be like 50. I saw it was either 50 or 75 bucks mm -hmm. to go to the campground. It's like really expensive because of its proximity to the city. So honestly, as long as the parking ticket is less than that. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking about. Okay. Who wants to go get some food? Me. We found what well, was just regular parking, but we were able to squeeze our motorhome in there. While it's still not a huge motorhome, it's a very large vehicle by any European standard. So I'm actually really proud of the fact that we rolled into what is not a small town in Geneva and we're able to actually find something. I was ready to give up and go to the campground. You were ready to give up an hour ago. I was. It was stressful for a moment there, but I'm always glad when we can actually get out and see a place. I never regret it. So we found parking. It was right next to this awesome sidewalk that borders the water. So we're gonna walk into town and we have one primary objective. Cheese! Actually, that's not true. What's the other objective? Chocolate! Fondue! <laughs> but the chocolate is my priority. Yeah. If you want the cheese to be yours. The chocolate's fine. also Ellie's priority. She's been talking about it for hours. For hours. <laughs> just spotted John and Peter trying to find some parking, doing what we just did, which is driving around the city yeah. of Geneva. <laughs> <laughs> We're 0 for 1 on finding an open place with fondue. She said that basically every place that has, serves fondue is probably not going to open until like 6 or 6.30. And it is 4.30. But we found one more place that's supposed to serve really good fondue. We're going to cross the bridge over the lake and go see if they're open. It's about a mile walk. What did you get? Chocolate. Is it chocolate drink like you wanted? So I'm so glad that the top review on Google Maps was like, this is not a restaurant. Go, find yourself a table, then go up to the counter, order the fondue, and order for two is like plenty to share, and then they'll um, call her name. But it's right on the water, like right on the water, overlooking the city. We've already got our bread basket and our plates. Now we're just waiting for the hot cheese. Uh, merci. The reason we chose this place, because I read on someone's blog that it's one of the few places in town that would swap bread for potatoes if you needed to be gluten free. So, got some potatoes. Oh, that is like, that is the weirdest texture. It's like so light, like bubbles. Foamy. Oh, it's not too hot. Oh, that's really good. I want to take a bath in that cheese. <laughs> not exactly the same as cheese dip in the States. Oh my God. That was the best cheese I've ever had. Isn't it so good? So good. Mm. What do you think? <laughs> you like it? Wow, you're already double dipping? We're a family. <laughs> 
today I feel like we faced a couple obstacles trying to find parking in the city and then having a couple places closed before we got here, but it's really sweet when the ending spot is as good as this. The cheese is incredible, great ambiance. Someone's over here playing a guitar. This is really perfect. Good find, babe. One day in Switzerland, this is what you have to do. Hey guys! <laughs> and our friends! We got and our friends! <laughs> To being reunited. To being oh, reunited. Reunited. Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah. Let's have a <laughs> And that too. <laughs> Back in our rig. I'm glad we decided to spend our one day visiting Switzerland. John and Peter and Tom and Kate are all yeah. gonna meet up with us and we're all gonna actually spend the night so we can say that we really visited <laughs> Switzerland at a parking lot just north of the city. So we're gonna head that way and then turn in. That cheese and wine has it was amazing. done me. It was the best cheese I've ever had. It was so satisfying. All right, <laughs> good, good night. night.